After I was here for about a year and a half, I put in to get on our SORT team, which is our special operations and response team. It's kind of like, I don't want to say SWAT for the police, but it's kind of like that. I am a member of the SORT team. You get a little extra additional training. Go out on a monthly basis with the uh, other SORT team members and do some additional training. That's always fun. I'd say we help with mass movements. We help when, you know, people are being unruly because you are going to get those. But you also get a lot of training and a lot of individual techniques and stuff like that, extra training, which makes you ready for that part of the job, which is also nice. With that, it kind of helped me take some things that I felt like were weaknesses for me and help me hone those skills and become a better version of an officer, which was what I was hoping for, for the fact that I plan on being here for another 30 years. So I did join the SORT team, our response team, and the trainings that they've been sending me to for that have been actually very neat. I, don't, I never would have gotten those opportunities anywhere else, I don't believe. And you'll never regret learning something new. We'll do extra range training, extra gas training. Uh, I'm on the uh, hostage rescue team. You know, we'll do practice uh, hostage rescue situations. Uh, just a variety of different things. Before that even, I went to chemical agents training to be uh, an instructor here at the facility. With that, I sent me to rappel training, so I'm one of our rappel masters for our SWORT team as well. When they were like, hey, you want to go to rappel training? I was like, yes. You get firearms training, you get to learn how to shoot better because there might be a situation where it has to come in. Pepper ball training, you know, you get exposed to OC and gases, but it's good to be trained in that because there's times where if something does happen, you want to be able to respond correctly. Didn't have any experience at all with the law enforcement field or military field for that. I was just always interested in it, but never really took that leap of faith into doing research or going for it. I was looking around for positions and this was one of the places that kind of caught my eye, got me back to thinking on jumping into the law enforcement field and the pay was more than what I was previously making. So it kind of convinced myself, well, I've always been interested in it, why not give it a chance? Gave it a chance and I have absolutely fell in love with this job and what I do. And I honestly see myself being able to retire from here one day.